Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are back with one more episode. We are on 39. It's gonna be like 60, I can feel like it, but we'll see what's gonna happen. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. Please do not forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys in the video. Have a nice watch. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. It's been some time I didn't play this game, not gonna lie. I was busy with something, some other stuff now, lately. Alright, what were we up to in the last episode? Let's remember. Alright, let's go to quests. Speak to Amit about Gobbledygook. Hmm. Oh, it's needed to level 21. And we're almost level 21. Okay. Do we have any active quests that we can complete to get level 21? Let's check. I don't want to waste time on professor assignments. Well, let's go for this one. Oh, Undercroft. Is that the quest that is required? Level 22. It doesn't look like. Okay, let's see. Where's the map? Here it is. And it's very far away, actually. Okay. Didn't think that it would be far away. Alright, how am I supposed to, like, get there? Let's travel quick. I was actually curious and a bit unsettling. I know what to do. What is even going on here, bro? Oh, okay. The quest was Okay, the goddamn it. The quest was in Hogwarts. Damn it. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we were in Hogwarts for a second. Okay, let's go there. Right. Anyway, I was actually uh, kind of busy playing The Last of Us. Hope you guys are enjoying that series too, because I'm enjoying the game very much. Probably you guys know by now that The Last of Us is one of the games I was actually hoping to play one day. On my actual device. Because I almost like... Watched like I, I how can I say fifty hours of gameplay before I can before even I can play on my device. So. Anyway. All right, let's go to the crop. I literally have zero idea still how this game is gonna end. So super super excited to play this game. Although it's like the almost a 40th episode, you know? Anyway, You'll never believe what I've learned. Let's see, Sebastian. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Wow, okay. I regret using Crucio. No, I don't regret it, not gonna lie. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. What? References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Exactly. Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Um, should we tell Ominous about the thing? You know, he's a weird guy and, you know, I don't know. He might be useful in this one. Should I go for it? Should I go for it? I, I think we can both do it, by the way. Alright. I won't say ever. Alright. I see lie. no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. Alright, is that it, Sebastian? And don't feel sorry for Ominous. 
Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous. Oh, we talk were just ominous about to get to bed. Finishes with Sebastian. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. Oh. I heard everything. God you swore you'd never it. engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Well, okay. All right, didn't really expect I that. I am not letting this go. All right, let's talk to Ominous. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. <laughs> you knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Oh, okay. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Alright, I don't give a crap about your thoughts, Ominous. Sorry. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. Hmm. It would mean <clears throat> a lot. Sorry. Actually, when you think Ominous might have a point. Right? It might be. He might be right, but. I don't know, man. I really understand Sebastian trying to, you know, find a cure for her for his sister. So I'm not gonna. F I don't know. I'm not gonna ask too many questions to Sebastian about that. I don't really understand about Ominous. How can I say? Well, Concerns. Alright. Shut up, lady. Divination classroom. Okay. Let's see. Where she is. Oh. There she is. There. Hmm. Let's go. Looks like that travel point is way closer to our point. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Who is talking? So familiar, Santa. So, so frustrating. Oh. oh, okay. Let's see. You wanted to speak with me, mother? And I what are we doing to here? Speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. <sighs> I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. Okay, that was She weird. called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? 
It is specific to okay, me. That, that was <laughs> what a horrible question to start a conversation, John. Hogsmeade, Come on. She Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Animagus. Okay. What does it feel like? How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Well, that's really weird, but it might be cool. Can I just learn it? But, Were you yeah. born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. What? Then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Well, that's weird, okay. Do you yeah. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. Okay, that, that was nice. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming. But Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. That's she correct. claims she that has she point. has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Hmm. We cannot allow our mother so Perhaps your mother is right. Yeah, her, she might be right. I mean, she's a professor, right? She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have um, fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. My mother cannot know where I am all the time. I Thank you she for has being a point. here during that rather awkward conversation. Now where is it? What's upstairs? Do we know what's upstairs? Or I forgot. If you guys know, I'm sorry. Just wanted to see it. Is this astronomy class or something? Oh. Can I talk to her? Yes, we can. All right, let's go. Professor. Do you have a moment? I do. Oh, no, I'm, not going I'm to talk sorry. Now. It seems now isn't the best time after all. <laughs> I sensed as much. Okay, that was a weird conversation too. Do we even have something to loot here? What do we have here? A demigod. Hmm. Oh, a demigod. We can actually steal it, right? Anyway. See what's gonna happen, ladies and gentlemen. What's up with the quests? What is next? Poached egg. Talk to Poppy in Hogs. Okay, let's go talk to Poppy. In Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade map. And let's go. How inconvenient uh, right. was before I invented Oh, it's Bobby. Let's talk. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Yeah, sorry to say that, but she's probably dead. Sorry. Anyway. What was your grand sending you? What was she sending you? 
Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. All right, not gonna. Uh, what did you find poisons. out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg. So when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. And? How did you even track her? I don't remember putting any sort of... How do you track a dragon long after yeah. she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Wow, oh, okay. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Okay, let's go. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Yeah, how are you gonna... How can I, like, explain it to her, you know? I mean, Here you got your egg or something. I do think this That's is gonna where be we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Okay, let's go already, goddammit. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Okay, Poppy, shut up. Well God then, damn it. Let's find our Why are you talking so egg? much? Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Why? God damn it. Are we so far oh, away? One more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Okay, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be difficult, not gonna lie. All right, definitely gonna be the there. She is above us. She did make it home safely. Wow. Okay. Oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. All right, let's go. I'm just running, but she... is she even going to see us? Poor thing must be worried sick, wondering what happened to her egg. Oh yeah, she must be wondering. Oh, there's blood. God damn it. Okay. Oh. What's up? 40 gold. Just gonna take it. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Dark mo- Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Akio! It's a Confringo! Alright, that was easy. Let's go to her. Oh, do we have anything here? Some power clumps, some power clumps again. Oh, the, well, that's a dragon skull, it looks like. Oh, that's a chest. The covers Blizzard's school uniform. Well, that's bad, it looks like. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, so we need to use the barrel here. There she is again. She's Leviosa. <laughs> From a distance. Where is Reparo? God damn it, what am I doing? Sir, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, where was it? Looks like, okay. That's Lumos, right? That might be useful. The Pulso. Instead of the Pulso, I will just go this. Right. Reparo. Fantastic. Thank you, and just, you know. Let's go. It's gonna be fun. I wonder how good her trying to talk is. to the dragon, but it's gonna be it's I gonna be difficult. Pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly Ugh. Okay. Well, watch your step. That's not gonna be fun. Is it gonna not gonna be fun? <sighs> It's just gonna be quite damn difficult. She oh my goodness. Oh, just raring for a fight. Oh, okay. Well, she's dead, looks like. Where are we heading now? Oh. Oh, she's aware of us now, is she?
Oh, uh, that's that's not cool. Poppy, do something. Get past the dragon. What are we though? Over here! Wait here! I'll run ahead. Whenever you okay. I'll follow your lead. I'll draw her attention. Follow when it's safe. Okay. Let's run. Oh. Oh, she's already running. Okay. Didn't see you, Poppy. Watch out. You're nuts. Oh my god. She'll make sure. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. All right. Oh, she's making it easy. What am I supposed to do? Can I go downstairs? Would it be okay? No. Probably wouldn't. Where am I supposed to go next? Okay, I'm just gonna go up there. Let's go. Alright. Dragon, we're just trying to make your ex safe, god damn it. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Okay, I'm just gonna push you listen to as far as I can. I'd normally try Let's go! Get to that opening below her! Alright, I just need to run here. Get a push right now. Let's go. Running, running from a dragon attack. Oh, what's this thing? Come on. Brilliant. What now? Bro, I don't know where am I headed. There's the nest. We're almost oh, there. Where's the nest? Can't see anything. All right. Anyway, why is she like leaving at the moment? I don't understand that. Why is every bridge here broken? I don't know. Repairer. Now, Repair if we the... just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's place it. It's egg. I need to get out of here. God damn it, we are too late already. Well, that was a thank you. I guess that was so cool. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Yeah, she tried to kill us first, Poppy, not gonna lie. That's rather generous, isn't it? She did try to kill us the entire time. Only until she saw her egg, at which point I thought she rather warmed to us. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Um, not at all, but I'm ready to get back. Yeah, exactly. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. Correct. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What is going on, bro? 